So what does 422, 420, 10-bit, 444, and 8-bit mean? In today's video, I'm going to be telling you all that. Hello, I am Leaf from Anything Cameras, the channel that focuses on helping you improve your filming and photography. And as I said in the intro, I'm going to be telling you what bit rates and chroma subsampling are, which is that 444, 422, and 420 thing. I'm going to start out with bit depth. This is basically how many colors you have in your image. So the higher the number, the more colors you have. So 8 bit has 256 shades of red, 256 shades of blue, and 256 shades of green. This means you get a grand total of 16.78 million colors in your image, which sounds pretty good. But then when you look at 10-bit, it seems pathetic. 10-bit has 1,024 shades of green, 1,024 shades of blue, and 1,024 shades of red, which comes out to a grand total of 1.07 billion colors. That is just phenomenal. Uh, that is what I'm filming in right now. So what the higher the bit depth, the more colors you have. At first you might think, well, I can't tell a difference. I don't know if this is 10 bit or 8 bit footage. Well, with certain videos or photos, you can. If you have a lower bit depth and you're filming something like a sunset, you see what's called color banding. And you see these different bands of colors in the sky. Or if you have a color gradient, you'll start to see bands of color. And that often happens when the it's 8 bit video because it can't quite get enough colors that ends up making these color bands. But if it's 10-bit, you won't see any of those color bands. So now, let's move on to that whole 444 thing. That is called chroma subsampling. So what this is, is a, basically a way to make file sizes smaller so you don't have as much data to put onto an SD card. And that is very helpful. So now let's talk about how, what all these numbers mean and how they affect your video. So for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna re be replacing the three numbers with three letters, A, B, and C. So A is four, if you're looking at four, at four, four, four video. So A is four, that means we have a reference area of pixels that's four pixels wide and two pixels tall. The next number, which is represented by B, if that is four, then that means all four pixels on the top uh, row of pixels in your reference area can all be different colors. Next you get to C, and if the number that stands for C is also four, that means all four pixels on the bottom of your reference frame can be different. So now we'll move on to 422 which means you still have that same reference area of four pixels wide and two pixels high. But now, instead of having four in the B position, you have two. And this means that only two of the pixels on the top row can be different. Then you move on to the C position, and that is also two, which means only two of the pixels on the bottom row can be different. Now to 420 or 420. Same reference area, the four by two and the same two pixels are different on the top row, but now you have a zero, which means none of the pixels can be different on the bottom row of your reference area than on the top. So you end up with these squares of the same colored pixels instead of small rectangles or just single pixels. So if it is 420 video or 422 video where you have certain pixels that are the same color, they have to be the same color, but they do not have to be the same shade. So one can be darker or one can be lighter, but the color must stay the same. This makes the file sizes a lot smaller and much more manageable for your average person who doesn't have really high speed recording mediums and doesn't have a super fast computer to edit this. The video is high quality. I'm shooting in 420 video right now, and you really won't see much difference between 420 and 422 and 444 if you're posting on the internet, just because different internet sites compress the video. But if you're shooting a movie and it's gonna be shot, put on a big screen, yeah, 444 video is a lot nicer. But we need to keep those file sizes manageable, and that is a 
That is one way to keep the manageable. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. I do. Hmm. Uh.